Hi, my name is Ben Edwards. I'm a partner at the Shopee Farm. Uh, this is Barbosa. He's very interested in what we're doing here. We are in kind of the break room in the barn, one of the barns, which uh, is usually full of people, uh, but it's a sign of the times. I'm having a fireside chat by myself, so it's a fireside monologue. But it is sunny, uh, so we thought we'd uh, open the doors up and kind of sit here. So uh, I want to first of all um, <laughs> apologize for last week's first video. Uh, I looked like I was asleep. It was at the end of a very long weekend. Uh, I it looks like it. Uh, so it's the middle of the day. I'm a little more awake. It's Wednesday, uh, so I got a bunch of things I want to cover. First, um, kind of a follow up to last week. A lot of people uh, were a little critical of what uh, I had said. Um, and I, I don't want anybody to think uh, in any way that I don't believe in the products, uh, believe in the healing power of cannabis and CBD and CBG uh, and uh, the many other compounds found in cannabis plants. I do, uh, absolutely. It's why we are so dedicated to uh, trying to produce the absolute purest products that we can. Um, I think they're wonderful uh, and maybe even uh, potentially exhibit some antiviral properties. I just think it's important uh, to be precise about what we know and what we don't know uh, at this point. Uh, and I was concerned that people were depending on CBD in certain circumstances to somehow protect them from the coronavirus. And that's just not, uh, not a good idea. But we don't need to belabor that. Uh, I just don't want people to think that we don't believe uh, in CBD. It does many wonderful things. Uh, I've been taking a lot more of it lately than normal. I think for me, uh, the anti-anxiety properties alone are wonderful right now. So next thing kind of on the product front, we've been receiving some questions about hand sanitizers with CBD in them. Uh, people wanting to know uh, if we sell them or if we're going to sell them. Uh, and that is absolutely a definitive no. Um, there are many issues with that. I'm gonna cover a couple of them. So hand sanitizers uh, certainly are effective as long as they're over, you know, say 60% or so alcohol. It's the alcohol in them that's doing the job. We talked about this a, uh, a little bit last week. There are some antibacterial, antifungal properties to CBD, maybe antiviral, uh, but in say, hand sanitizer that's say 70% or 80% alcohol, it's the alcohol that's doing the job. The CBD is just entirely unnecessary. We are seeing a lot of people bring CBD uh, infused hand sanitizers to market and turning a $3 very necessary product that is in very short supply into a 30 or 40 or $50 product that is unaffordable uh, for most people. And I think that's utterly irresponsible at this point. I would like to see some of those companies just give it away. I, I realize that probably won't happen, um, but I just don't think that's what we need to do. Hand sanitizer is hard to find right now. It's, it's sold out at, uh, locally and it doesn't even appear that you can order it. So to be selling 30 or $40 uh, hand sanitizer when people really need it, uh, that just doesn't seem right. Uh, we will not be doing that. That said, we have seen some stories uh, where CBD manufacturers, some of the labs, are actually creating hand sanitizer now. In fact, there's even a distillery in Southern Maine that's doing this no CBD in it. These are CBD manufacturers that are simply producing high alcohol content hand sanitizer and selling it for three or four dollars or giving it away. That's awesome. Uh, and I hope more people do that kind of a thing. So you get to kind of see both sides of the coin there. What I think is a kind of irresponsible uh, behavior given the climate with uh, putting a little CBD in hand sanitizer and marking it up 10 times. And then the other side, where you see these manufacturers that are actually stopping producing their CBD products and producing a inexpensive or even free hand sanitizer. I love that. Um, so we will not be doing that. I hope that uh, more people kind of follow the lead of some of these other guys and help just make this stuff. A few other questions about uh, our local setup here. Uh, we've been asked a bunch of times if we will do local deliveries. We're based in Machias. Yes, uh, we are doing some local deliveries, basically in the 10 mile or so radius from Machias. We'd be happy to do that. Uh, if you order from our website, which is shopshopee.com, S-H-O-P-S-C-H-O-P-P-E-E.com, um, 
we don't charge shipping at all. Uh, send an email uh, after you place the order or just leave a note with the order uh, and we would be happy to drop it off. Remember, uh, we have a coupon code right now. It's together. Uh, it's 25% off everything. Uh, no questions asked uh, until things settle down. So it's probably going to be for a while. Uh, so be sure to use the code. Another thing to keep in mind, these are not marijuana products. Uh, it's legal for us to ship them anywhere in the United States. Uh, and locally, in uh, basically in Maine, we're seeing about two days they're arriving. So uh, we are happy to deliver same day if you'd like, uh, but we can just put it in the mail and you'll get it uh, probably in two days. Oh, let's see what else. Okay, just a couple more things here. We'll finish up uh, as our contact information magically appeared. We are very proud to be working with the Maine Veterans Project and Sean in Bangor. If you are a veteran and you think some of our products might help you, please reach out to Sean uh, and he will see that you get some. Also on that note, if our products are still not affordable with the 25% off together code, please reach out to me directly. This is my contact information. It's ben at shopee.com or 271-3600 or uh, via the website or Facebook, uh, just get in touch and we will try to work something out to make sure that you get the medicine that you need. Again, uh, it seems like uh, these are the times where a little uh, reduction in anxiety or pain or just kind of taking the edge off uh, would be very valuable. So we want to try uh, and make that happen for as many people as we can. So please just reach out and we will do everything we can to make sure that it is affordable. Um, we are a first year farm and our resources are limited. So if people abuse this, uh, we won't be able to do it for too long, but I do hope uh, that people take advantage of it. If we can help, please reach out. Uh, also, uh, we are delivering other things around town besides just our products. If you uh, are an at-risk individual and we can help you reduce your exposure by picking up and dropping off your groceries or something like that, we're out. Please let us know, reach out. Uh, and we will do everything we can to help. Um, also, please feel to reach out with any questions. Uh, we'll try to answer them uh, either on our Facebook page or maybe on the next video. I think that's it for today. I uh, hope everyone stays healthy and happy, and we'll be back soon. Thank you.